Hey, it's Nick, and welcome back to the channel, and here I have LEGO Transformers Dark of the Moon Ironhide. Now, you're probably wondering, what's this? Those are his, um, weapons that he had in Dark of the Moon after he lost his cannons. So, something about this vehicle mode is it's not very good, because this was designed, like, six months ago, I'm pretty sure. And I just never bothered fixing the rear half of this. And I don't plan on doing that anytime now. The tailgate, um, I'm pretty sure on the real truck it opens like a normal tailgate, but this is barn door style tailgate, which is something real that certain trucks have. This freaking wheel is going to kill me. This one too. Just the rear part of this is just going to kill me. It's just bad back here. And if we take off the guns, doesn't really help either. I'll take these away. And we close up the bed. The tailgate, sorry. And now that that's closed, you can take a look at just how messy the bed is. And it it's not really accurate at all to the, the truck seen in the movie, which is the GMC Top Kick. But the front, I think, looks really good. Um, the grill, very wide, just like the truck. And also, I wanted to get this thing in here. It has the blue lights up here. And this wheel well is also kind of fiddly. So another thing is, uh, some car people, what they do to their, their cars is they stance them. Which essentially means that the wheels, instead of going normally, they kind of angle them outwards a bit like that. How did this fall off? That's stupid. And you can do that to this transformer, which I think is pretty cool. So it gives it that stanced look that I really don't like. So you, that is something that you can do. And let's compare stanced Ironhide to minifigure. Was this just not focused the entire time? Is it honestly that hard to focus on a freaking minifigure? Honestly, how hard can it be? It's right in front of you. Minifigure. Megatron. Grievous. And Dodge Demon. Okay, getting into transformation. So, first we're going to flip it over. Actually, I'm just going to raise up my camera. I'll be right back. Sorry, I just don't know why I keep saying I'll be right back. I'm not actually leaving. So stupid. So, um, easy thing is uh, keeping everything in frame is always wanted. Angle these out. Then, kind of, it's weird. You have to start with the legs on this. Kind of angle this out like that on that. It's on a hinge in here. And the ball joint now. And let's just move up the wheels and we deal with those later. Same thing on this side. Move that out. Move that up and we deal with it later. Now it's easier to do the legs first. Let's do one first. This kind of wraps around and then this part closes in like that. Okay. And just position the foot like that. And they'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now it's the the wheels slide this out, swivel this around. So now that black part is on the outside. I'm gonna push in the pin. Better angle on this side. Move it out. This is already pushed in. Swivel this around. Kind of angle it actually now. Now I'll push that in. There we have um, Gerwalk. 
Ironhide. If it would fucking focus, please. You can help me in any way possible and it'd be by focusing. So this is going to split apart weirdly. Um, move that up. And just turn around to back here. Take this part up. And then move back on that hinge. There is his head. Pretty sure it's based off of um, 97 Lego Maniacs. Iron Hide he did ages ago. God, I always hate this part of his transformation. Well, tra transformation of my Iron Hide is there's. I know where I want all the stuff to go, but it's hard to get it to that point. Because I don't transform this guy very often. I'm pretty sure it goes. Yeah, tab. Is it like that? Wait. Because that goes. Yeah, that gray thing in the front bends like that. And then this tabs into there. Because it can't tab into the other pit. It's too far away. There we go. Now I'm in a place where I'm just going to zoom out. Too grainy. That's good enough. So, let's do a deal with this. This moves down. That breaks off. Tab it back into place. So, there's this. BX Bricks waist joint in the very back here. This is very integral to getting his shoulder pads in the correct angle, which I'm not really going to adjust right now. I'm going to break that off. I'm going to put that back on in frame next time. Jesus Christ. There's a reason I didn't do the... Now I really know why I didn't do the video for this guy. Because he keeps falling apart. Move this section down. Just move that down like that. And um, let's try to... This is such a crappy thing I've done to myself, honestly. I try to position everything nicely, but I just... This isn't a nice, nice build I've, I've, I've done recently. I'm just, this is nonsense I'm speaking, honestly. I don't know why anyone watches my videos. I just don't know how to talk. That kind of... God damn it, just stay plugged in. I know it's a one stud connection, you got this. Oh my... Come on, just move. You have plenty of clearance. Why the hell does that break off? I didn't even touch that. These... Oh. I was really hoping that that droid arm didn't break. Didn't break, but still. It's a very important thing that it didn't break. And take the wheel, compress it into his waist. If he even has one. Come on. Just work with me. So I'm gonna just say I there was I did make another version of Iron Hide before this that was on my Instagram there may or may not be pictures of that floating around I'm gonna have to remember to, like 10 minutes in I talk about this and is that where that's supposed to plug into and it was absolutely awful it was six wide and I finally understand what our noblest 98 was talking about how it's hard to make Ironhide at a uh, six wide scale. It just, it's very difficult. I remember this guy being way easier to transform than this. 
it, it definitely is that on camera thing where everything is trying to work against you at the same exact time. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go, but it's definitely not supposed to break off. Hey, at least I haven't thrown this guy at a wall yet, like I did in my, um, Optimus review, number 30 Optimus. He also doesn't have any fingers, it's just his thumb, which sucks, but kind of hard to give him actual weapons because he can't hold on to them because if you look at the ball joints in his hands it's connected to the clips which these are weaker than just using ball joints which that's why I use them because I don't like the stiff ball joints stiff ball joint clip pieces for hands because I can't move them as easily easily this is pretty close I'm just gonna finagle this guy so he looks better and, uh, yeah, well, I'll talk about him or something. I, I think it'd be really funny if this entire video was just never in focus. And I just uploaded it because I don't care. So something strange that everyone always says is that he has no shoulders, which I think is complete nonsense because he does has, have shoulders. It's just everyone thinks that the truck... Uh, grill and taillight and uh, headlights section are like his chest. I'm pretty sure that those are his like shoulder pads, like sound like a uh, side swipe has, where the taillight sections are kind of like shoulder pads in a sense. That's kind of why those designs look a bit odd, because um, side swipe at a glance also looks like he doesn't have shoulders, but he. He does. At least that's how I think think about it. And uh, if you think it's wrong, tell me in the comments. And if you watch this far, tell me in the comments also. I'm not going to read the comments. But just tell me how your day is going. Hopefully it's going better than mine. Gotta say, it's always weird seeing Ironhide without his cannons. Even Dark of the Moon, that kind of threw me off. Even though I know he lost them in the Desert Storm battle. Speaking of weapons... And him being finished. Here they are. Um, I like this one more. Just a personal preference thing. And he can do the Mexican standoff thing. God, he just looks fucking awful. I'm being, just gonna be honest with you. He doesn't look good at all. Why don't I just take this guy off camera for a second? Because he works way better when he's not on camera. Like, I had some pictures of him that I took on Discord in the Mexican standoff pose where it actually kind of looked like the pose, but he's just not working with me today. Come on, tab in the other gun. I can do that on camera. Can you see me? And he fell over as well. That's all. Probably gonna have a cut there, but what just happened was okay after um completely destroying him i um put him back together and yeah he's not doing the mexican standoff picture but there were a, will be a picture of him that i took on discord 
where he actually cooperated, because apparently, uh... <laughs> I guess that's what I get for trying to film it on camera. He's so ugly. He's my least favorite universe character, and I'd just rather have Sideswipe. I already made a good side story, and I had to take him apart just so I could build this guy. Which was actually a complete downgrade. There are his weapons on there. Which actually now gives him proper back support. So he doesn't just fall forward again. Oh my god. But he's probably going to do that anytime now. Uh, I, may, I also made his um, 2007 weapons. I don't care. It's a darker to the moon version. You can also have these. He died in this movie, so who cares? There. There's your 2007 version. And, uh... Here he is being affected by the cosmic rust. There we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, all that crap, and, um... Certain percent of you guys are unsubscribed, subscribe. All that crap, I'm not going to do any more of these videos.